Is it because you drive on the wrong side of the road in England? <laughs> it's not the wrong side! <laughs> <laughs> Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh jeez. We've lost a wheel. We've lost a wheel. Have you ever driven a car in real life that uh, is so... like has such a weak motor that even if you uh, put the pedal to the metal and when you're going uphill, <laughs> it just keeps going slower. <laughs> um, no, not really. Okay. Um, the slowest cars I've got to have driven has got to be my car. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what what kind of car would that be? It's a Volkswagen Polo. Ah, okay. Um. But yeah, I guess the only other cars I've driven are faster than that. Um, I, it's a, maybe a mini. I don't know how much how much better that is compared to mine. I think it's mine's a bit stronger, so maybe. But I think the mini has l far less weight. I think that's like the appeal of it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And like better suspension or whatever. It's like a go kart, pretty much. That's what I what I heard. That's what I hear a lot. Uh, I used to own um, a Vauxhall Astra. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's what they're called. For for some reason they go by a different name in Germany, which I haven't quite understood yet. Um, and I helped my brother move to Munich, and we had this um, this trailer completely packed with all this of his stuff, and uh, it weighed about a ton. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and uh, if you go to Munich um, or on the way there, you have to pass through. Uh, a lot of mountains, and the car just wasn't, you know, <laughs> wasn't equipped to handle that. Uh, I was in third gear, I had the pedal at the metal, I, I was just, you know, pushing it, and uh, the needle kept falling. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Once my friend, I think he had a Ford Focus, um, mm. and he, he just he just passed his test, we were at school, we were at freeze, so okay. we are just going to leave school. Yeah. And um, on the way out of school, because there was like five people in this car, yeah. as it goes out, we have like these, I think it's four or five speed bumps going yeah. out of the school. Every time it hit the bottom of the car, <laughs> he went over those speed bumps because the amount of people in it. Uh, nice. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it, it, he was just like, uh oh, because there's this screeching <laughs> noise as we go over every speed bump. Uh, uh, the first first car I ever owned was a was a, a Volkswagen uh, Golf 2 that was heavily modified by the previous owner. Like the okay. suspension was lowered and everything. Was one of the worst decisions of my life to buy that car. And um, <laughs> I like I, I used to live in a in a um, street that uh, had a pretty high, uh, like the the road leading to it had a, a sort of a speed bump as well. And the first time I drove home with that car, I could just hear it grinding over that speed bump. <laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> I was even going slow because I, I was I was thinking like, well, the suspension is pretty low, so you might wanna you might wanna. Uh, uh, you know, be careful, but <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't own that car for more than a week before I crashed it though. Wow, okay. Yeah. It How was uh I was visiting my parents and um yeah, there's this intersection where my parents live that I used to drive over probably hundreds of times before I moved out. And it used to have um, uh, one of those green arrows for people that want to turn left, you know? And I thought they still had that. Um, I was approaching the, the intersection and I was chatting with my girlfriend and all I saw was a green light and I thought, you know, well, I can turn left here, easy. Yeah. <laughs> don't, need to, don't need to look. Well, oncoming traffic had a word in that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was... It was pretty bad. The car was totaled, but we were both oh. fine. Like my, no. My, my mate totaled his car about a week ago. Okay. Um, he did a um, 
We did a right hand turn going 70 miles an hour down a country road with wow. three other people in the car and a giant stuffed monkey with music <laughs> blaring at the speaker <laughs> and he just hit the side of the road. Oh jeez. And yeah, <laughs> it was like we heard that Jack crashed and then we went over to go see in our cars, see how yeah. Jack was. And um, the, there he is, and he turns on the engine to try and get the car back out because uh, he literally went up the side of this country road. Mm. And he mounted the road sign, <laughs> and it kind of got stuck <laughs> under his car. Nice. So we had yeah. to lift up the car to get it off. Okay. Um, we have Nick that sign now, so we can give it to him for a <laughs> <laughs> Um But yeah, he, <laughs> and he turns on the he turns on the like we just see him and three other people get out the car one person's <laughs> holding this giant stuffed monkey <laughs> right it's, it's in the middle of the night yeah it's like <laughs> and, and there's like and then he turns on the engine to try and reverse the car out and there's this blaring music that <laughs> and we're like ah we see why he crashed i think there was a distraction <laughs> maybe <laughs> and the um uh, theoretical uh, driver's test in Germany. There's this one question. Uh, there, there was like, um, when driving to a party, the driver should dot dot dot, and you have multiple um, yeah. answers that could or could not be wrong. And one of them was uh, the driver should uh, what was it? Enhance the atmosphere or uh, uh, make sure everybody's having fun by driving very risky. <laughs> <laughs> that has become like an inside joke between. I, I love those questions. <laughs> we have the same thing where there's one where it's um, you've been in an argument and um, you need to go for a drive. What do you do first? Have an alcoholic drink, <laughs> <laughs> shout and swear, or calm down? Oh, <laughs> that do, was do, you it. See, do you see the mountain ridge coming up in front? Um, that that's going to be an issue. It's gonna be what? That's gonna be an issue. The mountains in front of us. Do you want me to go scout the map? Yeah, I'm okay. just gonna stop real quick. All right, we're stopped. For some reason, every time I get in a cockpit, um, my iner inertial dampeners get turned off and my jetpack gets turned on. I don't know why. Mm. It's so you don't instantly die when you get out of the cockpit, because. Ideally, uh, if you get out of the cockpit, you'll be traveling at the same speed as whatever grid the cockpit is attached to. Yeah, okay. We really need to do something about that landing space. <laughs> yeah, well, it hasn't been an issue before. Right, I'm away. I can see you. Okay, I think there's a way over these mountains. Okay. I'm just gonna follow you for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the right of me it gets really bad, but to the left I think it gets better and better and we can maneuver our way over. Okay. That is very helpful. <laughs> Yeah, the terrain is already, already getting worse around me. Yeah, my uh, friend Jack said he wants to um, join us. He can't right now. He's working. Okay. He, it's quite funny because he works on. He works in this place called Morse Valley. Yeah. Basically, they have like these small trains that mm -hmm. go around, and it's like a. Know, like, it's just a, like a play park and stuff. And oh, know. okay. Like an yeah, amusement like, park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like. But these these trains are like proper trains, just on a really small scale, and it's like. The width fits one person, mm. and he he works on those trains, <laughs> and it's so cool. Is he is he really cool the top. conductor? Yeah. Oh, okay. He has a hat and a whistle and a little tippy <laughs> thing to do all the tickets. It's all like really classical. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Uh, by the like by the way, steam trains and stuff. By the way, I have lost your antenna signal. Uh, if you could okay. boost the range on your antenna, okay, that would be helpful. Uh, there we game. are. <laughs> yeah. For the max. Um, right. It's gonna get quite tricky over here. 
Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take a right turn. I'll turn towards you now. I've had to avoid some larger hills. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's like a valley here, which would be quite difficult. We'll have to definitely just go um, to your left, pretty much. Okay. It's It, it looks flat from there. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> Okay, uh, where do I go from here? Um, ooh, left, sharp turn left round. Okay. Please. Yeah. Around the white uh, yep. thing, obviously. Can it turn right behind it? Um, or is that valley too... You're gonna have to keep uh, the next mountain off, actually, yeah. Uh, how wide is it? You could fit here and there, right. Um, keep going after this mountain. And... Like on this hill. Um, okay. Just, yep. Then go left. If you want, it'd be safer just to wait and keep going forward, then go left. Okay. Uh, right. Right, sorry, yeah. No problem. I've got such a great view from up here. Just make sure it's neutral soft. Okay. <sighs> Obviously. Okay. Tell me when to turn. <clears throat> uh, I'll just I'll send you a screenshot of the um, view that I've got. Um, yeah, start turning left now. I'm guessing you mean right. Right now. Is it because you drive on the wrong side of the road in England? <laughs> it's not the wrong side! <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! Oh crap! Oh jeez, we've lost a wheel. We've lost a wheel. Rusters though. Okay. We are lifting off the ground. That's working like a charm. Oh, now I see why we lost a wheel. There's a big old hole underneath us. I don't like the way the things are. Okay. Wheel is placed. Parking brake is on. 